All right, what's going on, everybody? Let's take a look at finding the limit from a graph. All right, so uh, one of the main things we'll be looking at in this video is one-sided limits, but, you know, just a regular limit also. So I've got two graphs. I've got this one here, and then we've got this one that we're going to do. So shouldn't be too bad. All right, so let's let's get started with the first one. So for the the first problem, we want to find the limit as x goes to two from the left of our function f of x. Okay, now this whole thing right here represents the uh, the function f of x. So you can see here we have two and we're approaching two from the left-hand side. So that means we're coming in from this way, okay? So if we're coming in from the left-hand side to two, we're up here on this graph, okay? So we're coming in to two. Well, what is the Y value approaching? Well, you can see the Y value is approaching uh, the number three here, okay? So the limit of f of x as x approaches two from the left would just be three. And so that would be three, all right? Now let's look at the next one. Uh, let's look at to the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of f of x. Okay, So for this one, we're coming into 2 from the right-hand side. So that means we're up here on this graph. So if we're coming into 2 from the right, well, what's as we get closer and closer to an x value of 2, you can see the y value is getting closer and closer to 1. And so this would equal one, all right? Now they want us to find the limit as X approaches two. Well, if you remember, uh, for the limit to exist, the limit from the left and the limit from the right have to be the same. And you can see as we're taking the limit from the left, that is equal to three. And as we're taking the limit uh, from the right, that is equal to one. Well, since these two are not equal to each other, then that, that means this limit does not exist. Okay. All right. So let's look at the next ones. All right. So let's look at four here it says the limit this is number four so it's the limit as x approaches four from the left of our function f of x all right so now we're coming in to four from the left hand side okay Coming into four from the left hand side. So as we're coming into four from the left hand side, well, you can see our y value is approaching two. Okay. Now be careful, it's not this one, because at this point right here, x is equal to four. But remember, we're not ever going to equal four, we're just approaching it. So as we're approaching four from the left, the y value is approaching two two okay and so this would be two all right so let's look at number five we've got the limit as x goes to four from the right of our function f of x all right so this time we're approaching four from the right hand side well, same thing, 
we're coming into 4 from the right hand side. So as we're coming into 4 from the right, well, what's the y value getting closer and closer to? Well, it's getting closer and closer to 2. See, remember at this point, x is equal to 4. So as we're coming into 4 from the right, the y value is getting closer and closer to 2. And then for problem number 6, we've got the limit as x goes to 4 of f of x. Well, remember, just like we talked about in the previous uh, examples, the limit from the left is 2. The limit from the right is 2. Since those are the same, then the limit as x approaches 4 is equal to 2. All right, so let's look at this next problem here. So in this one, let's look at 1. We want to find the limit as x goes to 2 from the left of f of x. And for number 2, the limit as x goes to 2 from the right of f of x. All right. So for this problem, let's look at the let's look at the first one. So we got the limit as x approaches two from the left. Now this dotted line is the number two. This this is two, four, six, so on. So if you can see, we're coming in to two from the left hand side. Well, as we're coming in to two from the left hand side, what is the y value doing? Well, the y value, you can see it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay. So we can say that it is going to what? It's going to negative infinity. Okay. And now, what about the limit as f of x goes to 2 from the right? Well, as I'm coming in to 2 from the right-hand side, okay, well, what's the y value doing? Well, you can see that the y value, it's getting larger and larger. It's going to infinity. All right. So another thing you could say about these limits is you could say that this limit and this limit does not exist. Okay. Because they're not approaching some number. But when we can, if the limit does not exist, it's always good to state if it's going to negative infinity or if it's going to positive infinity. Okay? Because there's a lot of problems where we want to know this. And you'll see later on in your calculus class where that's the case, that it's good to know what the function's doing. You know, if it's going to negative infinity or positive infinity. And actually, on this one, if we want, if we wanted to do the limit as x goes to two of f of x, well, on this one, we would have to say, well, this does not exist because one's going to infinity, one's going to negative infinity. Now, let's just let's just assume that both of these graphs, or, or let's just say this graph was going to infinity over here, okay? So as we're coming into 2 from the left, it's going to infinity. And both of these were infinity, if that were the case. Well, then what we would put here instead is we would just put infinity because it's going to, fin infin to infinity in both directions. Or you could put does not exist. Okay. So if, it, if the graph approaches infinity or negative infinity, it does not exist. But like I said, it's always good to put is it going which one is it going to if you can all right so thanks for watching i hope the video helped uh check out my other videos and give me a like share and subscribe and see you later